Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer a little faster. Now you're probably thinking my computer is slow, which I agree it is. I just need to update it, add some more RAM and all that. It only has like 256 megabytes of RAM. But first thing, right click on desktop. Go to properties. Okay, properties, settings, events, turbo shoot, and this try to put it to none. Hit apply, okay. Then appearance, Windows XP style. You, some of y'all might have this. Go to classic. Hit apply. Okay. Hit OK. Now another way is go to start my computer. Okay. Local drive. No. Right click on local drive. Properties. Now this clean up, click that and also hit defrag. This should move and delete some of your old files and move them around so the programs can run a little faster and all that. Another way is go to start, then run. Then in the little box type msconfig msconfig hit ok ok now this box should come up hit services hide all microsoft services you're not dealing nothing with microsoft now in here uncheck whatever you do not need now go to start up now People say to uncheck all of it, but I gotta go with the safety. I go to the internet and see, like, I don't even know what this HK command, CMD, means. So I go to, like, Google, I type this in, and it tells me what all this stuff means. So, like, some, like, I think this, if you terminate it, it'll mess up your system, or, I don't know, it just warns you not to terminate the programs. Well, okay, B10. Uncheck this or check to whatever. No, yeah. Hit apply, then hit close. Now this pops up. See, usually you're supposed to press restart, but since I'm making a just a trial video and all that, I'ma do exit out restart. Now another way I'm not too good at it is go to start run. R E G E D I T. Hit OK. Okay, now this pops up. Hit HK current user. Then hit control panel. Then click on desktop. Now all these files come up. All these. Now Double click on active WND TRK timeout. Now yours, it might be zero. Erase it and hit make it one. Another another thing is go down to wait to kill application. Now I think for this it was like 5,000 or 17,000. I'm not too sure what it was, but make it 1,000. Whatever it was, just make it 1,000. Hit OK. And then go to HK users. Wait, wait, wait. See, I forgot. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. There's another way. You gotta go somewhere else. I mean, if y'all could figure it out. It's the exact same way you did as current user. Gotta find it control panel 
and then just did it. Just do it exactly how you did it. Oh, look. Control panel, desktop, click it. Do the same thing. Make this one. Wait to kill, make that 1000. Hit OK. Then just after you've done that, I like to organize my stuff, make it easy to see. Hit the exit button, and that should be it. Now, I'm not sure, but my computer. Oh. If y'all can help, God dang, if y'all can help me out, I'm having a OpenGL problem. It's an error. I made a video of it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna name it. It's like a uh, OpenGL error for Wolfenstone. It's just something like that. I mean, if y'all could help me out. I'm not sure if you go uh, see Device Manager. I went to Hill and here and uh, I went to some sites and they told me to reinstall this and my OpenGL L error would be fixed but somehow it's still not so if y'all could help me out I mean just go post some go, you could post on here and about it or you could post some other video just search for it it's OpenGL L error something like that well, I hope I helped y'all with the system speed, which is mine is like slow, which I need. But whenever I update it, add some RAM and processes and memory, I'm going to make another video. I'm going to try to learn some more stuff. So well, I hope I helped y'all and goodbye.